the correlation or mathematical relation calculation between the different data sets. Okay, so types of correlations. We have the positive correlation where both variables increase together. In this example, we have hens and we have eggs. So these are our two different data sets. We have how many hens do we have and how many eggs they are producing. I think this is like in a year, for example. So in this case, when we plot this out, we have on the X, the number of hens. So at three hens, we had around 100 eggs. At five hens, we had a, you know, a little under the 200 eggs. Six hens are at the 200 and seven hens, we have up here getting close to the 300 uh, and 50. Noting here that usually we'll, when we're thinking about something like hens and eggs, we might think about the hens as the thing that is causing the eggs. So I can see a correlation here. Clearly, these dots look like they're tending in a particular direction. And if I was to make a hypothesis about why that is, I would think there would be a cause and effect relationship between the independent factor, the hens, which are causing the eggs. Now note, you could think about that the other way around. If you're a farmer, in other words, I might say, I'm gonna see how many hens I need to buy in order to generate so many eggs. But you could think about it the other way around. You might say, well, the eggs are causing the hens and then the hens are causing the eggs, right? So you might try to buy the eggs first and think about it as the independent variable. But again, normally if you were a farmer in this case, you'd probably be buying the hens in order to produce the eggs and, th and therefore you would usually plot on the x-axis the independent variable of the hens. Note that if I reversed these, I put the hens over here on the y and the eggs on the x, we would still have a positive correlation. It's not like the graph would flip as you might think, you know, if you flip the x and y, but by tradition we usually put on the x what we think is the independent. All right, a negative correlation, one variable uh, increases while the other decreases. So in this case, we're talking about age and batting averages. So in this case, the age of a baseball player is going up and as